Raven and Pridey hope to say goodbye to their life in Surrey and find a permanent new home in Gran Canaria. With a £180,000 budget, a place in the Sun property expert Jean Johansson struggled to impress the picky pair. During one property search though, the classic episode of the Channel 4 show saw Pridey ecstatic over a hidden feature as she admitted, I wasn't expecting that. Property 2 was a three-bed house in Las Palmas. This traditional detached home was located in the neighborhood of San Juan and featured a sunny solarium with views across the rooftops and out to the mountains. It was valued at £161,751, and from the outside, Pridey and Raven liked what they saw. Jean breathed a sigh of relief and said, few as they showed keen interest a stark contrast to the first property. And this is the master bedroom, Jean commented, leading the couple upstairs. Wow, Pridey exclaimed. Oh, my God, it's lovely. I love the light coming in here. I love the decor. Commenting on the space, she added, I've got at least 50 to 60 pairs of shoes, so we'll need the space. Pridey, I can help you out here, the presenter remarked, revealing a huge walk-in wardrobe behind the mirror. Oh, my God. Pridey replied. I love that. I can have all my shoes. You can have one side, Rob, and the rest is mine. She continued, I wasn't expecting that at all, that is really well hidden. However, it wasn't enough to convince the husband and wife to list the home as a contender. They revealed this to a disappointed Jean, who had just three more options on the table. Sadly, the next two were also met with criticism by Raven and Pridey. This is tough, the host told cameras as another home was rejected. She added, I'm disappointed. While trying to gauge what exactly the couple was after, she was forced to admit to them that their dream place may not be possible on their budget. Thankfully, they agreed the fifth and final property was a contender. A four-bed house in Moya, it was situated on a rugged coastal road to Moya. Valued at £141,593, they decided to put in an offer of £120,000. The owner rejected this, but made a counter-offer, which Pridey and Raven once again tried to lower to £126,000. Again, the owner tried to meet them halfway, but, unwilling to go any higher, the couple won't budge. Eventually, they managed to secure the house for £126,532. 